Welcome to the Muskie Sports Blast Inside the Huddle with Muskingum Head Men's Basketball Coach Gene Ford. Coach, last week a tough week for the Muskies. You hosted Wilmington here in a must-win game. Kind of controlled your own destiny as far as the OC tournament goes. A disappointing loss here at home. What were your thoughts? Well, yeah, it was, it was devastating for us in terms of, you know, uh, we put ourselves in a position to control our own destiny. We're playing at home. We're playing against Wilmington, who we thought we definitely could compete with. And, uh, you know, you have to give them credit. I mean, they played pretty well. We did not play very well, whether or not we were tense or whatever. How do you, you know, how do you judge that? But uh, we did not shoot the ball very well against, uh, against Wilmington. And then, consequently, our defense ran through our offense, and we gave them too many uncontested shots. And, uh, you know, uh, even though we made runs at them and, and cut it, uh, we never were able to get the lead. You know, you followed that up with a tough road trip over to Otterbein, a night game over there. As you go to that game, you knew that Wilmington had won earlier that day. To keep any hopes alive, you needed a win. Unfortunately, you didn't get that. After that game, what would you tell the guys? Well, you know, now it's a matter you're playing for pride. You know, uh, you get two games left. You're playing two quality teams, the second, third place team in the league, John Carroll and Capital, respectively. So now it becomes an issue of, uh, you know, uh, you have to stand up and be counted and realize that, okay, we've worked hard all year. Uh, we can't roll over and, and, and just, you know, cash it in. So uh, now you're playing, uh, as I said, for, for pride and the fact that you're a competitor and you want to put your best foot forward. So. Uh, we're going to have to really, you know, challenge ourselves and, and get after it. You know, if you look at the roster, only two seniors on this roster who will be losing, returning the bulk of all your players for next year. Is that a reason for optimism? Well, yeah, you know, and I and, and I think that, you know a lot of the guys now have got two years' experience in the league, so you know that has to help. Uh, and hopefully, we can get a good recruiting class to mix in there. But yeah, we've made steps. Uh, I think we're, uh, you know, we're, we were competitive all year in all the games, and uh, you know, last year um, there were some games that uh, you know we let get away and didn't really have a chance to win. Where this year I think we made progress in terms of, uh, you know, tightening the gap between winning and losing. You know, being that you're out of the situation right now, how challenging is it as a coach to still get your kids prepared and get them ready to go out and play these last two games? Well, you know, I, I think it just comes down to a, a collective feeling of, hey, guys, look, you know, we have to support one another. Uh, we've worked all year. We've practiced all year. Uh, there's two games left, and you have to finish strong. I mean, that's that's what you have to do in life. Uh, it's a great, you know, life lesson for us to learn. And uh, you don't always get what you want, but you just can't throw your hands up and say, okay, you know, we're out of it and we're done. I, I expect our kids to, you know, tag her up and play uh, as hard as they can. Okay, Coach, I want to thank you for joining us on Inside the Huddle, and good luck this week. Thank you.